So yeah, you got the apology of motherfuckers trying to say, oh yeah, but the Ethiopians who appear to have real Semitic blood. How the fuck does an Ethiopian have Semitic blood? They come from Ham, man. And plus the scripture says, uh, don't I liken you unto uh, Israel to, to the Ethiopian shit? Right, I mean, that's, called, that's just right. far as our right. appearance. You know what I'm saying? Right. That is as far as our appearance concerned. But that was a separation, though. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. That was a separation. Was. Like, it wasn't, they went to, that's not the Israelites, man. That was a whole other nation. Right. Which they come from Ham. They're yeah, showing Ham. that you like. Like you like something. Exactly. It's like being Jewish. You like, you be, you're you acting like a fucking Jew, man. Right. Fuck out of here. I still got this. Uh, yeah, yeah, song. Read, read that song, bro. Lord separate them. Uh, like, he's going to them together and shit. That's right. Yeah. Like, you know? It's all good, bro. It's, uh, it's uh, Psalms 148 and um, side 3. You sure it's 149? Uh, yeah, Psalms 149 and 3. So, uh, it's one, Psalms 149 and 3. Let, the pra- let, the, let them praise his name. Let him. Let his, his name Pray in the day. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with timbrel and heart. For Yahweh have taken pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Mm-hmm. Let the saints be joyful in glory. And, that, and that's a lesson in itself, proving who the saints are. Go ahead. Let them sing loud upon their beds. Let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouth, mm-hmm. and a two-edged sword in their hand, mm-hmm. right? To execute vengeance upon the heathen. To execute vengeance upon the heathen. Okay. <laughs> where, where's, where, where's that happened brother? already, brother? That when did it happen? Cause I shit, I my hand ain't got, got a hold of no already. You know what I'm saying? 19 already. <laughs> and the 18 already. <laughs> <laughs> and punishment upon the people. And punishments, man. What are they what are they being punished for? You're right. Because they, they, they can't even answer that. What are right. they being punished? Are they being punished for their sins? Uh, uh, fucking he they can't say. So exactly. what are the, what is they being punished for, man? You being punished for putting your hands on the apple of the Lord's eyes, man. In Wisdom of Solomon, in the fifth chapter, it says that uh, we is he is he uh, uh, the Son of God, whom we had in derision. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You motherfuckers gonna be shocked to know who the real children are, man. Who the men of the Lord truly is, man. When you look at the word Zion, it mean it means monument. Monument means to remember. How do you remember something you never was a part of? Dumb asses. To bind their kings with chains Mm -hmm. and their nobles with fetters of iron. Mm -hmm. To execute upon them the judgment written. And what's the judgment that's written? Can somebody grab Revelations 13 and 9 real fast? That's all you need to do. You know what I'm saying? We just going to grab that one scripture, man. This is Revelations 13 and 9. If any man have a ear, let him hear. Mm-hmm. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Mm-hmm. Here is the, here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And that's simple, man. That's the judgment written. That you shall go into captivity, man. Isaiah the, uh, uh, the 14th chapter. They took them captives who captives they were. So that same chapter it says, uh, "Pay them, uh, pay the sons uh, for the iniquities of the fathers, man." Mm-hmm. For you, uh, fucking Edomites, is trying to say that you're you're 23 years old and you haven't done shit. Man. I got a little bit more because it's not a bad thing that we want to put you in slavery because the Lord says it right here. It says, uh, "This honor, <laughs> this honor, means the honorable thing." To beat the fuck out of you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and have all this honor have all his saints praise Yahweh. Praise praise Yahweh. This honor have all his saints. Don't the scripture say the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom? 
Who the fuck is only the kingdom now? What kingdom is it talking about? Who are the saints? Who are the saints and what's the kingdom? None of these questions can you answer, bro. Know what you gonna do? You fucking apology, motherfuckers, man. You gonna sit there and... Nah, hey, not even them. It's all you motherfuckers, all man. All you motherfuckers. You GOCC motherfuckers. That's right. You Alpha and Omega ministry motherfuckers. Right. All you motherfuckers, man. Whoever ain't preaching a uh, 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 100% truth. All you motherfuckers, man. Hey, you outside the circle, man. That's right. Hey, that makes you profane, man. It's good to say, hey, man, the word profane means outside of the temple, man. Right. You have no part in this, man. You know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 The 2 Thessalonians 1 6, seeing it is a righteous thing with. With God to recompense the tribulation to them that trouble you. See, it's a righteous thing to recompense trouble, trouble unto them that trouble you. I was just about to go there. Who was that? Who was that talking about, man? Hey, that's the spirit. I was just about to go to the scripture that's underneath that. Read down, bro. Read a little bit more. And to you who are troubled, rest to, with us. To you that are troubled, rest with us. That was what I was just looking so for. So who right doing now. the troubling though? That's right. Somebody, somebody is troubling somebody. Right, and the Lord said that it's a it's a it's a righteous thing to pay back them motherfuckers who are troubling you. Exactly, and to nah, you that are trouble, rest with us. No, we're all equal. We're, <laughs> everything's equal. We're we're all being troubled. We're, what what they say? Right. We're the ninety nine percent. The one percent. They're all troubling us. Hey, fuck you, niggas, hey, man. Right, man. Y'all just started feeling the fucking uh, backlash of this shit, man. Hey, man, you a two time loser. If you were eating, man, you broke on this side. Hey, sucks to be fucking you, man. Yeah, exactly, man. Yeah, hey, like that nigga that got that nigga that got caught in North Korea. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. This nigga went to North Korea, bro. Hey, hey but that shit, that shit happened to, to 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 niggas all the fucking time here here in America, man. Yeah. And I'm not. And when I say niggas, I'm not talking about just so-called blacks, man. I'm talking about the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, yeah. man. They go down for shit, man. They they spend they go they go into uh, these prisons. Yeah. Uh, for, for nothing, man, and they get years on, on fucking end, man. Yeah, man, I just seen in the fucking news and shit, some Edomite got probation for two rape cases, man. Exactly. Hey, man. They, they show you the double standard, right? Uh, the two fucking college motherfuckers that got convicted for rape. One of them was an Edomite, and the other one was a Jake. They slammed the Jake, but they gave the Edomite just a little, oh, yeah, okay. A little okay. probation, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you had a fucking judge say, uh, I like it, brother. You got a judge, judge uh, tell the Edomite that was convicted of rape. He's like, oh, I didn't give him uh, all this, all this, uh, all these years because uh, it was gonna affect his future, man. Well, what the fuck does, does uh, Esau ever say that to Jake, man? man we gonna fuck about Jake, man. I got a scripture on that one. Um, what kind of shit is that? I got a couple of them too. Hey, uh, Jake, like the brother says, there's somebody here that's being troubled, and some that is doing the troubling. Man. Put two and two together and figure it out, man. I got a scripture. It's Proverbs 26. He that hateth dissembleth with his lips and layeth up deceit within his within him. Right? So you hate us, man. So you dissemble it. To dissemble means to, uh, it's like disassemble something, to break it up. That's what you did to our nation, man. When he speaketh fair, believe him not. And that's a so-called white man. Don't fucking believe what he say, man. Everything you say is fucking. It's either it's either a lie or it's a truth told to to uh to uh that leads to a lie. Okay. Hey, that, that's that's what Jake do, man. As long as uh, Esau puts a suit and tie on and starts speaking with them mm -hmm. uh, big ass words, they'll listen to what he says, man. Hey, yeah, that fucking salesman uh, with a broken like goddamn. Um, they eat him like Bernie Sanders. Yeah. Supposedly he's standing up for the minorities, for blacks, for Latinos and shit. <laughs> Now since he's supposedly losing, which is all set up, he's talking about, oh, I'm gonna vote for Hillary. I'm gonna vote for Hillary. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's you know, fuck even though that. they come with this whole sweet talk, he been on Hillary. Yeah, they're they, they always gonna fuck you over, man. Yeah, I mean, soon as you give, as soon as you give him your bag, man, they gonna stab you. I got a little bit more. It's called the same devil. When he speaketh fair, believe him not. But there are seven abominations in his heart. <laughs> God damn. And that seven is completion, man. That means he's completely fucking wicked, man. God damn, man. Whose hatred is covered by deceit. 
His wickedness shall be shewed before the whole congregation. And that's what's happening right now, man. The whole world is seeing your ass, man. Your ass is exposed, man. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. So that stone that you had rolled for us, man, it's about to fall on you, man. You've been fighting an uphill battle anyway, man. And it reminds me of the movie Blade when he was fighting Deacon Frost after he killed his ass. He said, some motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate up here. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He said, a lying tongue hated those that are afflicted by it. Right, we've been afflicted by your lying tongue, so how you hating us, man? You piece of shit. And a flattering mouth worketh ruin, man. I got one more. Um, this Ecclesiastes, uh, um, this is Ecclesiastes, uh, I'm going to start it, yes, yeah, Ecclesiastes 10 and 5. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, as an error which proceeded from the ruler. Right, an error which proceeded from the ruler. Who's ruling right now? The so-called white man, man. An error. You're in error. Everything you do is in error, man. All right? Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. So the court jester has become king. I have seen servants upon horses, and princes walking as servants upon the earth. And that right there, uh, it actually shows you the distinction between the heathens and us, man. Because uh, the princes are walking upon earth, on the earth, which is the so-called Israelites, the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's, that's the distinction right there. You know, that's the separation. You know, we're the ones walking on the earth, and servants are, are, on, are, on, the, are on the horse, man. Because right now, this dog, this red devil, this Edomite, is, is ruling, man, along with all the other nations, man. So when the Lord comes back and put things in order, man, what do you think is going to happen, man? It's going to put all, it's, everything's going to be shifted upside down, man. The Israelites who are meant to be ruling, who are princes, they're the ones who are going to be put on top, man. God. And because Esau, he, he mimics the Lord's program. The Lord's program is going to be set. Yours is going to mimic Yahweh's uh, program. Because you got something that's called problem, action, solution. Where you create a problem and then you and then you intervene and try to act like you're the hero. But hey, Yahweh's Shemashah has a similar program. Because everything was created for his sake, man. Even, yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. So he has a problem, action, solution program. So he created the problem, <laughs> and he's about to take action and bring forth the solution. <laughs> All right? And that's going to be to put your ass in slavery, man. How you like that shit, man? All right? 10 and 8. Ecclesiastes 10 and 8. He that diggeth the pit shall fall into it. Whoso breaketh the head shall a servant shall bite him. So, yeah, you dug pits not just for the Israelites. For the most part, you dug us a pit. You dug us a deeper pit than you. Man, you 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 dug a real deep pit for us, but you dug you dug the pit for the whole earth, man. Even your own people, though. And now they start to realize that you did that, man, and they they about to rise up, man. Right? Who so breaketh the heads that serve so vital, man? Okay. And breaketh the heads, man. The scripture calls us the uh, what is a hedge? A uh, hedge is like a bush. A bush is basically a low tree. The scriptures talk about that low tree, that tree of low stature, man. That's Israel, man. We're a tree right now, but we're a low stature right now, man. A hedge is like a hedge of protection that's around us. Right, right, come, come. Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, yeah, you broke up. Well, you, you can say that too, man. You broke our hedge. You broke our hedge, man. Okay? So it says, uh, yeah, whoso breaketh the hedge, a serpent shall bite him, man. So you broke that hedge up, man. Because even the hedge has branches. You know, a hedge is meant to protect. It's meant to uh, cut off, uh, uh, how you say, to border. Uh, uh, to border. Okay. It's meant to border, okay? okay? You guys have made a breach in Israel, man. Exactly. You brought down our, uh, our, our, our right leaders, man. Not these fake-ass leaders that we have now, man. Okay. You know? Go ahead. So, uh, who saw removing stones? Who saw... Who saw Whoso removeth stones shall be hurt therewith. 
And the scriptures talk about us to cause us lively stones, man. The scriptures say, also said, if uh, I could have turned prophets, made prophets out of stones, man. So the scriptures refer to Israel as those stones throughout the scriptures, man. And then, um, I believe that's in Ezekiel, it says, you'll walk upon the stones of fire, man. It talks about the anointed chair that covered. You walking upon those stones of fire. It's supposed to say those stones are going to eventually burn you up, man. We're going to eventually burn your ass up, man. Whoso removeth with stones shall be hurt therewith, and he that cleaveth wood shall be endangered thereby. Right? Uh, if the iron be blunt and he do not wet the edge, then must he put to it more strength. But wisdom is profitable to direct. Surely the serpent will bite without enchantment, and a babbler is no better. Okay? And that scripture made me, made me think about all, all you fucking scoffers, man. Because what is a scoffer? A scoffer is a babbler. Okay? It's like if I walk in and say, hey, man, your garment ain't, your garment ain't gray, man. Ha, ha, ha. He think he got a gray garment on. Can I prove that his garment's not gray? Or am I just babbling? Because if you can't prove nothing, man, the scriptures say prove all things, man. Right? But, hey, it's, we, we deal with it because the scriptures say that last day shall come scoffers, man. They're walking after their own lust, man, or their own heart, man. Whatever come to your mind, man, or is convenient to you at the time. Was it on it? Yeah, I'm done. Go ahead. Where you going there, yeah, get back to the subject. This is uh, the book of Second Ezra, chapter three, verse thirty-one. Um, it says, "I do not remember how this this way may be left. Are they then of Babylon better they of better than they of Zion?" Right. So Ezra's like, man, I don't remember how, how how this should be. It goes back to what Solomon said, like, man, hey, surely this got to be an error, an error that proceeded from the ruler. Like, this got to be wrong, man. You know. Who's running shit? What, 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 what's your supervisor? Take me to the boss. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. It says, or is there any other people that know it be besides Israel? So who else know the most high besides Israel? Somebody got the Amos 3? Yeah. Hold, hold on that. Get the Amos 3, bro. This is Amos 3 and 2. Sorry, you only... I'm sorry. Shall I... Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. So he only speaking to who? O children of Israel. Okay, go ahead. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, so saying... He, so he only talking to the people he brought up from Egypt. Right. Okay. Did he bring Edomites from Egypt? What about Moabites? Yeah. Ammonites? Yeah. Hamites? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is a New Testament. No, no, no. no, no hey, it's Old you, Testament. Right, right. Hey, uh, hey they, never find, they never find the Greeks, though. But any motherfucker could met motherfucker, if they, had, if they had a half a brain, they'd be like, no, they, they had some Canaanites with them, though. Well, he had a couple of hand with him, but the scriptures say there shall be no more Canaanite in the congregation. Okay? Right, so that would cut that if you were smart enough to find that loophole. Hey, hey, but either, you would not. Either, either way, though, this scripture right here is just talking about Israel because he names them explicitly. Gun. Yeah. All right, I'm starting from the top. This Amos 3 1. Hear, hear this word that the, Lord has, that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore I will publish you for punish you for your iniquities. That's it. So for the Lord, Lord read that again. You right. only have I known. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So the most high only know Israel, man. Therefore will I punish you for all of your iniquities. So the so the Lord is only dealing directly with Israel. No other nation. So go ahead to that, brother. Is uh, back in Second Ezra chapter three, now verse thirty-two. Mm -hmm. it says, or is there any other people that know it be besides Israel? And he, that's question marks, right? Huh. So Ezra's asking the Lord, is there any other people that know it be besides? We just read Amos. The Lord only only knows one nation. That's Israel. Go ahead. It says, or what generation has so believed that covenants as Jacob? Right. I got one quick one, please. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, oh, Psalms man. 147 and 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. Verse 20. He has not dealt so with any nation, as for his judgments they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. And that's plain. That's right. 
<laughs> no, that's that's scripture. I got one real quick. It's Hebrews 12 and 6. For whom Yahweh loveth, he chasteneth, and scourges every son whom he receiveth. Right, and that was the point, man. You know, and back in Amos it says, uh, he uh, chastens, he uh, punishes you for your iniquities, man. Because we're the real sons, man. You look, you look at the evidence uh, in history, man. We're the ones that went through the through the slave trade, man. Which is one, which is, if I could say, it was the to to date is the is the worstest uh worstest uh, uh uh event in history that's happened to we people, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It says it says it it says it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they want, that that was the Holocaust. You know what I'm saying? Because it shit just alone with the Native Americans, that was a hundred million people, man. No, that's just alone with the Native Americans and the Latinos, man. How much more was it with the Negroes? Man? They slaughtered over a hundred million. Uh, Orlando was the biggest shooting. Right, that was the biggest <laughs> that was mass the shooting. That was oh, but, but not when they created the Gatlin gun, when they were shooting Gat down, though. Right. That, 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 that's the biggest shooting in American history. No, the fuck it ain't, man. Oh, wait, 9 I got a. I you got a quick created line. a Gatlin gun just to take Gad down, man. Right. Over a hundred million so-called Native Americans died, man. Over, over, over. Or oh, they say 99 million, but over a hundred million so-called Negroes died on the on the uh, uh, on the trade, the slave trade coming over here. And those are and, conservative numbers, man. And right. How how, how many died uh, the so-called Latinos when Cristobal Colon brought his bitch ass over here? Right. 18. I got. You know what I'm saying? It's Daniel's down at 12. He That's the spirit. I was just going to get that. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, go ahead, brother. Uh, and he have confirmed his words which he spake against us and against our judges that judge that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven have not been done as hath been done under Jerusalem. Right, so like under, the brother. Upon Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So like the brother said, man. It haven't happened to no other nation, man. The shit that happened to us is the worst thing that ever happened to any other person, man. Nobody went through the shit that we went through. But hey, that, that, in the kingdom of heaven, that's going to be changed. Because you fuckers is going to get double, man. That's right. There's no salvation for you, man. Why did the Lord tell that to the, uh, to, to, to the bitch in John 4? Tell him to explain that. Right. Why, why, why did the Lord say for salvation is of the Jews, man? Why, why did he tell that bitch that, man? Now uh, these other heathens can come in, man. Hey, uh, man, if the brothers can get it, uh, that uh, the Lord is not an author of confusion, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the Lord doesn't speak, and then he's going to contradict himself later on, man. You know? He, he gives you stumbling blocks for you simple people who, who don't really believe in the Lord, man, and in his word, just so he can weed you guys out, man. You know what I'm saying? But everything that he says is going to come. To, to pass, man, 100%, man. whether right. you can receive it or not. The effect of every vision. I'm going to get this, bro. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, back in the... Y'all yeah, first down? Uh, uh, this is 1 Corinthians 14 and 33. This is for Yahweh is not the author of confusion. Now, now, you might read and you might find a, a things that uh that sound like they're contradicting. But if you don't have the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai with you, man, then you're not going to get it, man. You're not going to be able to discern through it. And really, either you're a heathen or you're a two-third, man. And just wait for the missus, man. Live it up, man. Because right here, man, we're speaking the, the word of Yahweh Hashem Shai in its entirety, man. If you can't get it, then just beat it, man. That's true. Uh, for Yahweh is not the author of confusion, but of peace. It's in all churches of the saints. Right, right. That's why the scriptures call him Shiloh, man. Prince of Peace, man. Because he's going to bring that peace to the earth, man. And hey, it's like that movie, man. I don't know if dude, uh, what was that? Uh, when dude had that bat, man, he said Peacemaker. He had a uh, bat and shit. He wrote Peacemaker on it, man. Because once he hit a motherfucker in the head with that bat, man, he's going to be real peaceful, man. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I got one if somebody else don't got none. Go ahead. Okay, uh, this is the bracket what you were just saying. Um, how everything is going to come to pass. You were just saying that. Um, Ezekiel 12 and 22. Son of man, what is this proverb that ye have in the land of Israel saying? These days are prolonged and every vision faileth. Right, man, and that's what these people are saying, man. Every vision faileth, man. 
The Lord ain't gonna do good, he ain't gonna do evil, he ain't gonna do shit. Like, America just wasn't written in the Bible, wasn't prophesied about. Everything that happened now, like the Bible has nothing to do with it, it ain't saying nothing, of, nothing that's going on, right? Tell them, therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, I will make this proverb to cease. Right, and this proverb is starting to cease, man. Because shit is happening, man. The Lord is dealing, man. He's making major moves right now, man. Major chess moves, man. Alright? I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use this proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. So that means the effect of every vision, man, is going to take effect, man. All these prophecies is going is going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. All things have to be fulfilled, man. And the the, uh, the prophecy about the Gentiles that's coming into this truth, which are Israelite foreigners, and the prophecy of the Gentiles that's born into slavery, which is you fucking heathens, man. Simple as that, man. Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is back to Second Ezra chapter uh, three, now verse thirty-three. Uh, I'm going to read 32 again. It says, Or is there any other people that know it besides Israel? Mm -hmm. Or what generation had so believed that covenant as Jacob? And yet their reward appears not, and their labors have no fruit. For I have gone here and there through the heathen, mm -hmm. and I and I see that they follow, they flow in wealth. Right. Just, just like these Edomites today, man. They the modern day Babylonians. You can go here and there through the heathen and see they flow in wealth, man. You know, um, and that was their blessing. Genesis twenty-seven, the the dew of heaven, the fatness of the earth. Uh, Go ahead, brother. Uh, and, uh, I'm not gonna bring it out, but y'all can read uh, Psalm seventy-three, and it goes into Esau how he's not uh, troubled like all men. You know what I'm saying? Like he basically does whatever the fuck he wants to do because he's not under the law, man. The Lord's not chastening him, but he will chasten them in one day when, when the Lord comes back. Man. It says, uh, verse 33, back in Second Ezra chapter 3, it says, verse 33, And yet their reward appears not, and their labor has no fruit. For I have gone here and there through the heathen, and I see that they flow in wealth, and think not upon thy commandments. Right, and that's the point, man. The scripture says in Psalms the 10th chapter that the wicked, through the pride of his continence, will not seek after the Most High. The Lord considers all these, all these heathens as wicked, man. Because in order to be righteous, you must follow the commandments. That's how you be righteous. Faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh You know? Faith in, in, in the fear of the Lord, man. Because that's what drives us to keep the commandments. It's faith and fear. Go ahead, brother. It says, Weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance. Mm -hmm. And there is also that.